What is going on guys, it's Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Planet Zoo in the Arctic Pack. Now, last time we left off, we placed down these exhibits over here with creatures inside of them, and started decorating these corners over here. And uh, we decorated this corner over here with a bunch of aloe vera, and bar barrel cacti, and cigarro cacti, and some other stuff. <laughs> and there's a Joshua tree there as well, and uh, what is that? Tr oh gosh. Is that the sound of a heckin' snake hissing right there? I don't know. <laughs> but as you can see, we placed all these down last time we left off, and then I said between this episode and next episode, I was going to work on these other corners over here, and that's what I ended up doing. If you guys want to actually see me place these down over here, I actually used the footage of me working on this for my January 2020 update video. I used it in, you know, the background footage for that. So if you guys want to go see me decorating this, then go tune in over there. But I guess uh, I kind of want to wait until it's like daytime so we can see this a little bit better. Because uh, during nighttime with a little camera light thing, or I guess I guess it will get the job done fine. I guess. <laughs> but over here in the uh, like the jungle rainforest area over here, we've got uh, like elephant ears and like Swiss cheese plants, and I even placed down a rock. I even found a rock that was small enough to fit over here. So there's that. We even have uh, I think these are scavola bushes over here. Yeah, scavolas over here. Lobster claw over here. Uh, what's this one? Bird's nest fern. We've got some bamboo over here as well, because this one, of course, has bamboo inside of it, so it's pretty fitting to actually have bamboo on the outside. And what's this tree, though? Yellow ipe tree. Okay, so that's cool. And then, of course, you can see here really, really fine detail of the, uh, like, I actually put tall grass in here, too. And I didn't have to do it because, you know, it, just having, like, a soil as the ground kind of gets the rainforest theme already, but having a little bit of grass down there, it definitely fits, I'd say. The same thing down here, I did get a comment saying, hey, why don't you put, like, sand down here for the desert, and that's what I did over here for this desert area over here. I think this is fine sand, as well as uh, on the other desert corner over here, we've got some fine sand as well. And speaking of this corner, we've got aloe vera, we got, what is this one? Soap tree yucca, another aloe vera right there. King pro tea medium. <laughs> we've got a sage bush, sage brush bush right there, iron wood tree right there, and a palm tree over here, date palms, so that's kind of cool. I even found a uh, desert rock that was small enough to fit over here. This is kind of like a pillar rock or whatever, and I have it kind of on its side right here, so that's kind of cool. It's made a cool, oh, and barrel cacti over here, and a uh, organ pipe cactus right there too, so that's cool. But uh, it's made a cool, there is a little bit of snow in here though. I think about maybe expanding this one specifically, maybe with like level five or something like that, so. Hopefully that will heat up a little bit, maybe even move this over a little bit. Maybe like right there, that'd be fine. And of course, yeah, once we once we like move it and stuff like that, it has to like reset and uh, start heating the area up from, uh, from scratch, so that kind of sucks. But hopefully it's going to make this area look a little bit better with less snow, especially because it's heckin' desert over there, right? <laughs> but uh, over here, same thing, we got the rainforest theme, so we've got a big old like palm tree over here, as well as like two... I don't know why I placed down tr two trees, but two corkwood trees right there, so that's cool. Elephant ear plant right there, another scavola right there, another gigantic lobster claw heck plant right there, scavola right there, as well as another rock over here, so that's cool, so got a rock over here as well. And uh, same thing down here, we've got some tall grass alongside like actual soil down here, like heavy soil or whatever, so that's awesome. So hopefully it actually gets a pretty cool like rainforest theme that we've got over here. I really like how we're customizing it over here, it's really, really awesome. Anyways. I didn't really get a good look at the actual creatures inside of here. I did get some comments saying, hey, why don't, why don't we like zoom in on the creatures so we can actually see what they look like. So, let's see if I could find this, uh... Oh, look at that! Yeah, down there's the Gila monster. Let's see if we can get a good view like this. There he is! Look at that! We've got the Gila monster right there. Let's see if we can zoom around this way. Oh god, we're like inside. Oh, there he is right there! He's asleep! He's all curled up into a ball, and he's, uh, hopefully nice and warm inside. Oh wait, hold on! I think I might have had vet research for this guy. Oh, well, I think I have the vet researching him right now, uh, so we're hopefully going to have vet research here pretty soon. But for this one, what is this one? Is this the iguana? I think it's the iguana. Can't really tell. There's snow on that thing right there. I think it's the iguana. Let me see if I can find him in here. I think he's pretty... Oh, yep, there he is right there. Hey, look at that. We've got the iguana inside of here. Look at that guy. He's actually massive. Oh, and I did get a comment saying, hey, why don't you get, like, mates for these guys rather than just having one uh, creature in each thing. Is there- this is the snake, right? Or is this the tarantula? Uh, oh yeah, oh, yep, there's the snake right there. So we got the, uh, what's this one? The puff adder, I think? Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit better on this guy. Uh, oh god! Oh, oh yeah, people are heckin' cold. <laughs> Let's see, oh, there's the puff adder. There he is right there, can I see- oh, you can even see his tongue coming out too? That's awesome, a little bit of detail right there, nice. So, yeah, def- oh, and this would be the, uh, tarantula then, right? Let's see if I can find him. Uh, he's going- he's- 
Must be pretty small. I can't really see him right off the bat, you guys. Uh, oh, 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 there he is right there on a leaf. Look at him right there. Tarantula, hopefully no arachnophobes in the comments. Sheesh. <laughs> but there he is right there. Pretty small little fella, kind of hiding right there. Kind of kind of stuck out right there because he wasn't like on the actual floor blending in with the leaves and whatnot. He actually sticks out hardcore on that big old leaf right there. But, yeah, definitely want to see if we can get to... What is this? Is this research? Oh, okay, vet research complete. That's good. What is it? It's a uh, Campylobacterio. Okay, so we have Campylobacteriosis level 1 research. That's good. And the Gila Monster has finally got the, uh, the thing done too. So now we can actually give you some enrichment over here. So a hiding place, A, B, and C. So that's awesome. So now we've got some place for you to hide. That's going to get your enrichment up. It's at 60%, I think, right? Uh, where's that at? Yep, 60% on layout, so that's good. And enrichment, is that exhibit? Uh, I think it is. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> but 60% on layout, so that's awesome. Anyways, yeah, let's see if we can actually, let's go to exhibit trading. See if we can find any creatures here. Common death adder. I think we have puff adder, right? So let's see. Puff adder. Oh, yeah. Let's actually see. What is it? Male, female? What do we have inside of here? Uh, how do I check that? Oh, yep, we got to hear the male puff adder, so it's actually, uh, let's click on. Oh, damage barriers, hold on. Oh, gosh, these are, like, almost broken. Call a mechanic over. There you go. Woo! All right, but, uh, oh, 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 real quick, though. Let's see, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I did have to place down another keeper thing over here. I hired two more keepers between this episode and last episode. So we have got four keepers, because, of course, we had two beforehand, and that that's not enough to take care of both the reindeer, the, uh, Doll sheep, and of course, the four brand new creatures in the exhibits over there. So, I have two more keepers in total. We have four, and they started. Uh, we had only one keeper hut over here, and it was this one right here, right? They started queuing outside this thing, so I built a second one over here. So, now it should accommodate all four of the keepers just fine. So, hopefully, they can take care of all the creatures. I did try and place it down like right here for some reason. It was saying like, oh, terrain constraints or whatever. So, I don't know what's going on with that, unfortunately. <laughs> So I had to I had to break the fence and I thought that was the problem, but it wasn't so I don't know what to do there Unfortunately, maybe we'll figure it out a little bit later But uh, was there anything else I did between this episode and last episode staff wise? I don't know Maybe probably should hire more staff now that we have we've got almost 500 people in the park though golly <laughs> But uh, let, let's start out with the uh, I guess we can start with the Mexican red knee tarantula Let's figure out what this one is Pedro the male so let's actually click on him Go to genetics. Oh my gosh, yeah, he was like a gold star, wasn't he? Yeah, look at that. Really good appeal, really good longevity, pretty good fertility at 66. Let's find him a worthy mate. So that'd be Mexican. Why is this sorted from backwards right there? Let's go down to Mexican red knee. There it is right here. Oh god, a lot of females here. Nice. No, that, that is not going to be a worthy female. This might be a worthy female. 50% uh, fertility, 75% longevity there. It does require, mmm, it does require conservation credits though. 52. That's a decent amount, considering we only have 175. So let's look at the other ones, though. Oh, God, that has, like, no fertility. Yeah, that's that's one of the things, is that if we can get multiple, and then have them, like, heckin' breed inside here, then we wouldn't have to, like, re, like, adopt these guys, slash buy these guys, whenever they heckin' die inside of here, so. Just have them, uh, breeding inside of here. Maybe even sell off the offspring and get conservation credits. That'd be pretty good. Um... I'm really leaning towards the one that requires conservation credits, you guys. We only have 176 now. I think we're going to do it. This seems like a pretty heckin' good mate. 118.75 appeal rating compared to 2,000 on Pedro there. I think it makes sense. This one, this is probably, this is actually the best Mexican red knee tarantula we could buy right now. So, let's adopt, send a zoo, and I think that's automatic, like, like instant. I think it's, like, inside of here now, right? Animals, oh, yep. Conseja? Is that how you pronounce that? I have no idea. Let's see. Where is she? Oh, she's down here now. Nice. Look at that. So Pedro is hanging out on a leaf or something. How do I zoom in on her? Yeah, it's not letting me zoom in on her, unfortunately. I guess I have to... Oh, there she... Oh! Hold on. Yeah, I can't really get a good camera angle of her, you guys. <laughs> where is she? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can't really get a good camera on... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, here we go. I could have just done that. Whoops. <laughs> but there she is right there. I can't... Well, I can't zoom in anymore than this, though. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't zoom in anymore than that, so that sucks. But there she is right there. <laughs> if I get any closer, I'm sure arachnophobes are going to freak the heck out. So now we've got a second Mexican red knee tarantula there. Let's get a second puff adder over here. So this one's a male. I think we checked that just a moment ago. Yeah, male. To hear the male. Oh, he's got 50% longevity. 83% fertility. He's a gold uh, badge or whatever that thing is right there, too. So let's get a uh, female puff adder now. Why does it keep going backwards alphabetical order there? I have no idea. It's a uh, puff adder, female. We have male, male, female. Oh, there's only one female puff adder, so I guess we have to... Oh, 17% fertility. That is trash. Should I just wait until this one expires and another one maybe comes on the market? I don't know. 
Ah, uh, because this, this one has 50% longevity, while this one has, well, it has the same longevity. But this has terrible fertility, while the male has really good fertility, you guys. Actually, it's 0.9 years old. Pretty young. Maybe... Maybe it's going to get better fertility over time, maybe. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's get you. $700 right there. We got fifty, basically $56,000. I think we had $56,000 before we bought her. But there we go. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that. She appeared in there like instantly. There she is back there. All right. Well, now we have two puff adders inside here. Uh, at Atika and Tahir. So there we go. She was saying anything for the iguanas. So Pedro, we got a male. We have like mainly males inside here, you guys. Definitely do want to get the females to kind of balance things out, you know. So, 58% longevity, 66% fertility. Once again, another gold badge right there. Really good appeal right there. And, of course, once we get these uh, mates over here, this is going to make our appeal range just skyrocket. So, yeah, Lesser Antillian. Let's get a female. Oh, wait, what in the world? There's no... Oh, wait, no, this is Pablo. Yeah, I remember seeing Pablo. So, we've got Pedro over here, and then there's Pablo over here. Let's get uh, Francisca, the female. She's got pretty good longevity, pretty good fertility to basically match the uh, Pedro over there. 50% longevity compared to 58 and 67 fertility compared to 66. That's about as close as it's going to get, you guys. Let's check the other ones real quick. Yeah, let's definitely get this one. Let's let's definitely get Francisca. There you go. Adopt. Send to zoo. And now you should be in there like instantly, right? Where is she at? Oh, yep. Look at that. There's one right there and there's another one right here. Nice. They're looking away from the people. They're afraid. <laughs> uh, although, yeah, we should definitely have a... Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, another vet research. Okay, let's see. What is it? Uh, Campylobacteriosis level 2. Okay, so that's good. Let's continue researching that. Um, Gila monster. Let's actually get you to research the... Wait, who is this? Kathy Barkley. Okay. Research the iguana. It's already halfway, so might as well finish it, right? Sheesh. <laughs> but, uh, speaking of the Gila monster, let's actually get a mate for this one. Oh, and look at that! That's the only female we already had inside here, so... Let's actually, uh... Let's look at her stats, too. Genetics. 50% longevity, 66% fertility. Let's try and find a good Gila monster for this. Where is that going to be? G. There it is right here. Okay. So who should we get? Embrace. This is a silver badge. Oh, this is pretty good. You got 81. Mmm. We have 136 conservation credits right now. 81 conservation credits to get this one. Should I do it though? Really good longevity. Really good fertility. I think it's I think it's worth it. I think I can hear the heckin' keepers or whoever. Like cleaning this. Is that what's going on right there? Oh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> You guys might have been hearing, like, squeaking going on right there. <laughs> that explains that, but let's let's try and find both of the, uh... Where are they at? I don't know. Hold on. I know off-camera one of them was hiding in this spot right here. I don't know if another one's hiding there, but... I'm not seeing them right now, you guys. Where are they at? Oh! Yeah, there's one right there! Yeah, look at that! I don't know if that's the male or the female right there, but there's definitely one hiding right there. Remember, this is a hiding spot for these guys. They're just kind of chilling out, hanging out. Where's the, uh... I don't know where the other one is. I guess I'll have to cheat then, huh? Animals. So we got a male. Where's he at? Oh, God. Oh, there. Yeah, look at that. He's got a hiding spot under there. I didn't even know that. Look at that. Man. That's cool. How do you get into there from there? Go all the way around like this, maybe? I don't know. How do you get into that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's his secret. He, uh, he doesn't want me to find out. There's so many people in there. They're looking for him. <laughs> But unfortunately, they're not going to find him. He's hiding all the way down there in the corner. Anyways, that should cover all the creatures. Oh, God, what's going on here? Oh, jeez, animal's hungry. Yeah, because we have new creatures now. We should probably... Ah. Hold on, I think... I was about to say maybe hire another keeper, but we just hired two new ones. So, yeah, I'll probably do some training for them. So there you go. We have the two ones are only at one star right now, so let's definitely do training for them. Anyone else that needs training, though? Yeah, I don't think so. Not right now, at least. Oh, one of the... Uh, high workload there... We should have staff room. Yeah, we have staff, staff health care there, so that's going to hopefully take care of the overwork thing. Low wealth. Um, thinking about where is the nearest keeper at to the exhibits? Is there even... Oh, yep, there is one over here actually tending to the exhibits. Hold on. Yep, 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 right there. Uh, Leela Torfs. So I'm going to make you only tend to exhibits. That way your job is literally just to feed and clean these creatures over here, so... Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's going to tend to these guys pretty, uh, pretty nicely. Another vet research right there. What is it? Uh, Campylobacteriosis level 3. Okay, so we should have that disease eradicated now, you guys. Nice. Let's actually get you to research the puff adder. There you go. All right, that way we have at least a little bit of, uh, enrichment for each critter, because we already have one for the heal monster. We're working on one for the, uh, iguana. 
Now we're working on one for the Puff Adder and hopefully get the Mexican Red Knee Tarantula here pretty soon. What is this over here? Oh yeah, low welfare and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, hopefully the, uh, the keeper that's literally dedicated only to tending to these creatures. Hopefully that keeper's going to take care of you guys here pretty soon. Who do we have in the park right now? Uh, 64 conservation credits. Yeah, number didn't go up by just clicking on these guys, so... I don't know, maybe I already clicked on them in the past. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh yeah, one thing I wanted to do was build an, a food court over here. Let's actually check. Oh man, we're at $60,000 basically right now. Holy yeah. Let's check on what people are saying about the park. People are still complaining about- Oh man, there's crime? Let's see, where is this? Education board got vandalized? You kidding me? What a bunch of garbage people. Jeez, replace that for $30. And good as new, nice. Oh god! How many reindeer- We have 19 reindeer in here now. Oh my gosh. Is it getting overpopulated? I'm like, I'm not seeing them complaining about it just yet, so that's good at least. I can give them better food, so that's awesome. I have to worry about that here in the future. Uh, I'm not seeing how you check, like, the overpopulation thing. Isn't it, like... Oh, I think I have to actually click on one, right? Let's see. So, oh yeah, social, adult, okay. So we've got, we've got more than enough adults. Social's good, so that's awesome. We don't have to worry about that, so that's, that's good. We can see your, uh, God, Godfrid is your mate right there, so that's kind of cool. But let's actually see. Yeah, these guys are still complaining about their uh, welfare and stuff. Hopefully the keeper comes over here. I don't know where the keeper is right now, though. Oh, there's the keeper. Oh, the keeper's actually tending to you guys, like, right now, so that's good. Yeah, look at that. The, uh, the little alert message just went away right there, so that's awesome. Um, like I said, I was, I was about to say, I wanted to make a food court or a shopping center or something like that over here. I think I mentioned that last episode. And then I was also thinking, over here, we could place down, like, another staff area, kind of like over here... We've got like a whole staff area. I kind of want to do the same thing over here because, of course, if, if, if this keeper needs to like tend to these exhibits over here, or, you know, if we build like a heckin' bison area over here or something like that, you know, it, it'd be kind of far away for the keeper to go from all the way over here to the nearest keeper hut all the way over to here. Oh, God, diseased animal. Okay, well, we've got Campylobacteriosis. We've got, we've got that taken care of already. So just going to quarantine you and hopefully take care of you. So there we go. All right, well. Like I was saying, yeah, want to build a shopping center over here. We got event research complete now. What is it? It is the Lesser Antillian Iguana, so that's good. Okay, so now we can get the... Whoever it was that was researching that. Get you to research the Mexican Red Knee Tarantula. So, oh, God! Yeah, look at that giant heckin' trunk, tree trunks inside of here. Yeah, look at this. So now these guys can, like, climb on top of them. So that's cool. So their enrichment ratings went from 40% to 60% right there. So that's great. And that guy's still in the park. All right, so what was I doing right there? Oh yeah, I need to replace, or reassign, who was it? Kathy, need to reassign you to the Mexican Red Knee Tarantula, there you go. Alright, that way we get some pretty good enrichment for each critter. But over here, let's definitely, uh, let, let's start building like a shopping center, food court, whatever you want to call it. So what would this be, like 20 feet or something? And how wide, I kind of want to leave an area right here, honestly. Have like trees and stuff, so... Maybe I'll place, maybe I'll like steal one of these trees because it's like already decorated. <laughs> maybe I'll place one like right here, there you go. That way we could actually physically see the, let's see, and then place this. That's actually pretty good right there, you guys. Using that as like a a way to measure right there. Let's let's turn on angle snap too. So that'd be one, two, three, four. And that matches that. So it'd be one, two, three, four. And let's make it a square. And, oh, the angle snap thing is... Yeah, I think I need to extend this out a bit, so, what was it, like, 30 feet, 26 feet? Yeah, 26 feet. Let's extend this out, like, there. Actually, yeah, I want to have the staff come over here, too, so there you go. That's pretty, I can extend it there now. Jeez. Is this a rectangle, or is this a square? Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's set this back down to 20 feet. There you go, 20 feet. Oh, it's still, like, let's turn off the angle snap, then. Uh, there you go. Alright, that's about as good as that's going to go. That's actually pretty good right there, not bad. Alright, pretty good little square right there. I think it's a little bit better than this one turned out, honestly. Ah, oh, man, this is actually kind of crooked now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Oh, uh... There's no room here for shops. So I guess if I want to have shops, I should put it in the middle or back here or on this side or... Should I move it over? Eh... I think it's going to be fine right now. I don't think we're going to have too many shops over here, to be quite honest. Especially if we put shops here in the middle and then back there and maybe on this side. Oh, mechanic research now. Ooh, what is it? Uh, oh yeah, habitats. I completely forgot about that, you guys. Uh, if anything, we should probably have him research something else, like, I don't know, food shops. There you go, food shops. Because I think right now, all we have is, uh, the burger place, right? Oh, disease risk. 
Man, this place needs to be cleaned and heck repaired like all the time. Holy heck. <laughs> Definitely want to see if I can release anyone over here though. Because our population has almost heckin' doubled. It was it was 10 earlier on. Now it's at 19. I wouldn't be surprised if we're hacking 20 or like 25 or something like that by now, golly. Let's see. What do we want to build? Facilities? Let's go there. Let's see if we have any like pre-built things. Yep, we do. Arctic Shop Large. How many does that have? Two or three or four? Looks like two. With room there in the middle for a third if I wanted. You know, get rid of that like doorway that's right there. Yeah. I could do that. Let's do that. Let's place it. Oh, wow. This actually fits like per... Hold on. This actually fits like perfectly right here, you guys. Holy heck. Let's actually rotate this. So you could fit this. Actually, I'll place it like all the way back here. That's actually pretty good right there, you guys. Boom. All right. Now, what are we going to put there? Uh, oh God, what happened here? Oh man, diseased animal? Oh Jesus, another thing now, listeriosis? Oh my gosh, I should, I knew I should have heckin' quarantined these guys when I first got them, but I completely forgot about it, golly. <laughs> All right, let's quarantine these guys and let's, let's stop researching whatever we're researching and start researching that, listeriosis. Forget about whatever you're researching because you're researching that, that's a lot more important. And uh, hopefully we can take care of this problem before it spreads all over the park. And this thing still has heckin' cleaned and stuff like that. No wonder a heckin' disease outbreak happened. Sheesh. Heckin' diseased and stuff over there. Or not cleaned or whatever. Anyways, yeah, we have two shops over here. Let me see what people are saying. I wanted to look at this earlier. Uh, oh, yeah. What in the world? The Arctic bench got vandalized? Let's see. Zoo feels pretty small. Yeah, that's going to get... Oh, yeah, Gulpy and Chief Beef. Yeah, people are complaining about that. So let's definitely get another Gulpy over here. Unfortunately, we, all we have is just Gulpy Soda or whatever, right? Yeah, all we have is Gulpy Soda and, uh, oh, God. It's actually, uh, there you go. Gulpy! All right, nice. Oh, is it even, pa oh, do we have a power over here? Hold on, I didn't even check that. Look at the power map. Oh, yeah, I don't think we do because I think the thing is closing right. Yeah, look at that. What are we going to do there? Of course, oh, man, yeah, we don't have any, we, we, we don't have, like, wind turbines. We don't have solar panels yet. Only thing we have is a transformer. Which, if I'm going to play, yeah, if I'm going to place a staff area over here, having a transformer over here wouldn't wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Of course, it covered like this area. You know what? Yeah, let's let's do the same thing we did here. Duplicate this heckin' tree. And let's let's build a staff area and actually place down that that power transformer thing. I'm like, it is for for staff places. We do want it to be further apart. You know, as far away as possible from park guests. So of course we're going to be using staff pads for this. Let's actually set this to 16 feet. I don't need it to be too big because, of course, only staff members are able to, to use this, you know, so don't need to be, you know, huge for crowds and whatnot. So, oh, God, I wasn't counting right there. Hold on. I want to make sure I get this number right. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It's a little bit further. In. No, this is that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's shorter. It's a smaller path. So that matches that over there. I might, I might go up to six. Yeah, I think I'm going to go out to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, and then rotate around now, and connect up like that. So we're gonna have a pretty good staff area over here, you guys. And there should be room over here for the staff buildings, so just for curiosity's sake. Oh, let's place down the transformer, actually. Hold on. Uh, let's place it down like, oh man, I'm gonna make this line up perfectly. Let's make it, yeah, there you go, nice. All right, edit group, get out of that, and let's actually look at the power thing now. And that is like perfect coverage, you guys. Oh my gosh, it, it even covers all the way out to here where it overlaps and stuff. Nice. All right, yeah. And uh, for future, whatever I'm going to put over here, this is going to be powered too. That's awesome. Really good spot for that transformer. Nice. Now, let's look at the uh, negative effects map, though. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. No problem. Don't even touch the pathway over here, so we don't need to worry about that negatively affecting anyone. And uh, for curiosity's sake, I did want to... And like a keeper hut. Where is that it right there? Yeah, Arctic Keeper Hut. So if I wanted to place this down, let's look at the uh, negative effect. Oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm glad I placed that second tree there because look at that red circle there. Doesn't even get close to this pathway right there, so that's good. So I could actually place this keeper hut like right here if I wanted you guys. So I may even do that like right here. There you go. So we have room uh, for shops right here, and we have, and it's not going to get negatively affected for the guests and stuff. So that's good. So now we have a keeper hut there. It's powered. And that keeper hut should supply food and whatever else for the exhibits right there. So that's going to be great. And of course, as, as we add more staff over here, especially once we have a, you know, shops and stuff there. We're going to need a staff building over here. Do we have that though? Staff room. We do. And it's just a small one though. 
but it is heavily decorated, so I guess we could put it like right here or something like that, you know? Let's like really, uh, look at the negative effect thing. So yeah, if I want to put the staff building here, like in the middle randomly, <laughs> I want to put it like right there. That way it's as far away as possible from any guests. And of course, convert that over to staff pads. That way only staff members can use it, you know? So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. There you go. So we have a staff building there. Is that staff path already? Don't look like it. Yeah, it's not. Ooh, let's definitely uh, convert that over. What was that? 13 feet? Yep, there you go. All right, nice. And let's convert this over as well. So there we go. And that. And convert that over as well. So all this is going to be staff paths. So that's good. All right, nice. Oh, that's actually kind of curved right there. What in the world? Uh, Can I fix that? That looks kind of heckin' wonky. There you go. And I think that should be good, you guys. Nice. All right. Maybe even put some trees over here to kind of like hide it like physically, even though we don't need to do that, you know? Uh, I'll steal some of these trees. There you go. Duplicate them. <laughs> Put them on, like, either side of the, uh, staff building here, you know? That way we kind of have it looking holly and jolly. And duplicate that, rotate it a little bit. There you go. All right, and, 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 yeah, having, like, decorations near the staff building. Yeah, look at that. Staff room scenery rating, that does help out a bit. So it's at 100% right now, so that's good. What about that one? Keep her hut small. It's at 51. I don't know why this one's up so much, though. Sheesh. I don't know, maybe because, like, the building it, that's surrounding it is actually helping out with the scenery rating. I bet that's why, huh? Anyways... Yeah, so now we have a pip shot, or no, not pip shot, but gulpy energy. And now we need to place down the burger place over here. So that would be food stalls and chief beef. So let's actually place this inside of here if we can. And there you go. Chief beef. All right. So now we've got that done. And now we can actually, hold on. Who are you a part of? Yeah, don't want you to be a part of a work zone, at least right now. I think there might be someone inside of here already. Oh, yep. Can I select this guy? I need to select it. Oh, there you go. Make sure you're not. Wait, what? Byron Sanders. Byron Chris Sanders. I wonder if he's going to be a colonel someday, huh? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Open up a, uh, what's it called? I forgot what the chicken place was called in this game. I need to remember. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you guys remember what the chicken place is called. And of course, yeah, like I said earlier, I can get rid of that door, place down a, uh, a shop front thing right there, and place down a third shop if I wanted to. But now that we have that going, I wanted to, oh yeah, place down the signs. I guess I can place it up here. Yeah, that'd be, a, yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, whoa. There we go. So we got that gulpy sign there. And of course, we can do the same thing here with the walking sign thing. So there you go. And let's do the, what's it called? Chief Beef. Chief Beef. Do this one. And it's the same one we have on the other side of the park. And of course, maybe here in the future, I'll, I'll switch these out once we have a, another food and another drink place researched. I'll probably switch these out for uh, for a different one. That way we don't have like repeat shops and stuff like that, you know? Even though these are pretty I can, popular shops, right? But there you go. So now we've got Gulpy and Chief Beef over here, so that's going to be good. Oh, and then, yeah, we're going to need uh, benches and trash cans and all that kind of stuff. So what are we going to do? I was about to say, like, maybe I put, like, a food court here in the middle, like, a really, really wide pathway. And then put, like, a food court in the middle there? Uh, I guess if anything, maybe I can, hold on, maybe I just widen these paths. So what are they, like, 20 feet right now? Maybe I'll make it, like, 30 or something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit too wide. Maybe I'll make it 26. And I think that's about as good as that's going to get now, so that's good. And now I need to reconnect these up. So let's set this back down to like, what was it, 20 feet beforehand? Or was it 16 for these paths? I think so. And it's not even matching. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, actually, it's 13 feet. Holy heck, yeah, there you go. All right. And uh, angle snap, turn that on again. Or Oh, God. Yeah, turn that off. That looks trash. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now that's, that's looking good there, so that's awesome. Right. Oh man, I didn't even notice. I guess there's heat, ra well that makes sense. There's like heat radiating out of these buildings, causing the snow to not melt over here. That's cool. Actually, it's like the opposite of cool. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> but that's 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 a cool little detail. I didn't even notice there, you guys. So yeah, now now the paths are a little bit bigger. Now we actually have room for, let's go to these. Is there, a, there is a picnic bench. Ooh, nice. So maybe I'll put picnic benches in the middle of each roadway here, or path or whatever you want to call it. There you go, I think that's good. So now we've got picnic tables there. Maybe even do some here in the middle. Maybe like, maybe not as many as we did there. So maybe I'll just do like one here, and then like one here. That'd be good. And then like one here. There we go, nice. All right, so now we've got room here in the middle for shops. People can sit down and eat and all the, oh, and bin, uh, bins too. Arctic bin, there you go. So I guess we'll just do this. Place it down like this then, I suppose. Actually, hold on. Uh, what if I did this instead? Let me let me get rid of chief beef there. Do the lighting. Is it over here? Oh God! We can 
place down like bobble lights. I guess that's what these are over here. Yeah, I think so, yeah. A festive snowflake like that's cool. Maybe I could actually use this middle area here for like decorations and stuff. Maybe maybe if I had a lot of time, maybe. Oh, here we go, here we go. Arctic lamppost. That's cool. Which way should I make it? Let's let's do it like this. Yeah, let's do it like this. And then I could place trash con trash cans uh on the side of those. Or maybe uh away from them, you know? Let's actually make this one like diagonal. There you go. And uh I could place another one like right here. And another one like right there. And another diagonal one. There you go. And let's make it a diagonal one right here. Noise. And let's go back to facilities and Arctic bins. So let's actually place the trash cans. Yeah, let's place them like right here. Yeah, there we go. All right. So people should throw their heckin' trash in there, right? Oh, man, the lamps don't light up perfectly. Yeah, whatever. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> All right. Well, let's place these bins on either side like so. That way there's plenty of space for people to throw their heckin' trash in the trash, right? Let's do a diagonal one right here. There you go. And I guess I'll have the uh, trash cans on this side of here because there's a heckin' thing right here. A uh, little little walkway sign. Yeah. Speaking of walkways, though, I think uh, edit group thing. I think I'm going to be... There you go. Move that a little bit inward. Do the same thing on this one. There you go. I think what's going to happen here is uh, we're going to have like basically two lanes of people that can go here on either left or right side. And then, of course, they could sit down and eat in the middle of the pathway. That's kind of my terminology here. Or ideology, I, I guess you could say, <laughs> for uh, for this, but uh, this is it's not being completely centered or whatever. It's really getting to me. <laughs> Let me see if we can fix these real quick. All right. Well, now we have a bunch of stuff done. I want to unpause and see how things go. Oh yeah, look at that. The lamps light up, lit up right there. So that's cool. So we've got she. Oh oh yeah. So now we've got two new staff members there. Might want to hire another one or maybe two. So how many do we have? We have six. We have chief, two chief beef, two gulpy, that's four. We have one shop place, and then I guess we have just one extra vendor right now, huh? So maybe I'll get two extra vendors. So yeah, that way they can kind of switch places in case anyone, uh, you know, has too hard of a workload or whatever, you know? So that should be good. So now we've got gulpy and chief beef over there. Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa, look at the big group of people heading over here. Nice. Awesome. And of course we have room. Oh, 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 quarantine full. Staff queuing, that's not good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully these people, their creatures over here get, uh, tended to. Well, that's, that's good. It, it's gone down. It, it was eight is the maximum. Now we have only four inside there, so that's good. So hopefully, take care of any disease that's going on over here. And of course, we're already researching it. Uh, it could have been researching in the background, but of course, I was too busy. I can build over there. I didn't want anything crazy to happen in the background. But this actually turned out pretty good over here, you guys. I'm, I'm liking how it looks. Look at that, and there's already people lining up over here for Gulpy and Chief Beef. Awesome, look at that giant line. Awesome. Inspector has arrived. Reindeer, doll sheep. Hopefully we get four stars, or five stars on all those. Of course, four stars would be good as well, but five stars is better. <laughs> but I think this turned out really good here, you guys. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this? The new food court expansion, I guess you could call it. 